Hi, my name is Bo Lan Jiang, and I'm from Qocom. Today, I'm going to introduce our work for training machine learning network on Androno mobile GPU using OpenCL. And after my presentation, Jing Hao will show a demo of our training work. The traditional training method generally requires users to upload their data to the cloud and train the network on the cloud. However, this cloud-based and centralized training method may compromise users' privacy. On the other hand, the AI accelerators on edge devices have become more powerful. If we only train neural networks on the cloud, tens of AI accelerators on edge devices are wasted. To address these two issues, we have begun our effort to enable training on Androno mobile GPU. There are two reasons to choose GPU for training. First, mobile GPU offers floating operations which are necessary to many existing mainstream training methods. Second, we already develop, develop an OpenCL-based deep learning library for Androna GPU, which makes it easier to aid training support. This OpenCL-based library is a pretty pre comprehensive inference library. It supports many widely used CNN models, including MobileNet and ResNet. Besides CNN, it also supports RNN and LSTM. The library can run inference in several data types, including float32, float16, and integer8. The most used layers in neural networks, such as convolution, activation, and softmax, etc. are supported. The library also has a heuristic rule-based performance tuning mechanism, which can tune the performance on different targets. The library provides a converter that can port models defined in other frameworks, such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. To enable training an Androno GPU, we first added backward operations for some commonly used layers including convolution, ReLU, max pooling, fully connected, and soft max. Because training is a nonlinear optimization process, it needs loss and gradient update functions. We added a soft max loss and a stochastic gradient descent solver. While inference can use pre-computed weights, training needs to initialize network weights. So to popular weights initializer, constant and hardware are implemented. Finally, we implemented a data loader that can randomly select data on memory and load them to GPU. The current data type used for training is Flow32 because most existing mainstream training methods use Flow32. The first network enabled by our framework is LearNet. It has two convolution layers two max pooling layers, two fully connected layers, and one ReLU layer. Softmax and cross-entropy layers are used to compute the loss. The network is trained on MNIST dataset. MNIST is for digital recognition. It has 60,000 training images and 10,000 test images. The image size is 28 by 28 in grayscale. During the training, the base learning rate for SGD is 0.001 and the momentum is 0.9. The batch size is 32 and we shuffle the data while loading data into GPU. To illustrate the training process and performance, we developed an Android training app. The training app is composed of three parts. First, UI main thread. Second, background thread. Third, native C++ program. In the main thread, we can select dataset, predefined network structures, and the number of epochs. Then we can kick off the training process to invoke background thread. The background thread is mainly in charge of communication tasks to avoid Android not responding warning. Through the Java native interface, the background thread can create an OpenCL contact and control Androno GPU to train the network. 
Finally, the training, validation, and the test accuracies are passed. The COVAX provide by background thread from native C++ program to the UMN thread for visualization in a plot. The entire process is repeated until we finish all the epochs. The training of LearNet is tested on Snapdragon 865, which contains Androno A650 GPU. It takes 194 seconds to train and test one epoch without using Androno UI. Running a Androno UI will aid overhead to the training. The training can achieve 94.7% test accuracy after one epoch and 98.4% accuracy after 24 epochs. In conclusion, we build a training library that can train a network work from scratch on Androno mobile GPU. Even we show a standalone training example on mobile GPU, the training library can also be used in a distributed training application, which collaboratively train neural networks on tens of mobile phones and the cloud. The training accuracy of our system matches the state-of-the-art result. To further extend our network, we plan to aid back propagation support for more layers, such as stepwise layers, and enable training for more networks, such as mobile nets, efficient net. We also plan to support more kind of SGD software. To improve training accuracy, we are also going to enable mixed precision training. Next, we are going to show a demo of our training library. Hey, today I'm going to walk you through our Android demo app to train a neural network on Qualcomm's GPU Adreno. Okay, as you can see, the demo app is called Demo Training. Let me click on it to get started. Okay. This graphic interface is composed with five sections. From top to bottom, the first one uh, is the status of our uh, our deep learning library. It will return the status of the library and it will also show the uh, latest validation accuracy here. And in the second section, you can select the, the data set and the network structure. For the third part, you can set the number of epochs inside the training process and how many steps you want to include in, a, in an epoch. Please be noted the, uh, in a step, in a step you will have 10 iterations. Okay. And then the fourth section here includes a plot, which will show you the training accuracy and the validation accuracy. And also we will show the uh, progress of the training process in these two progress bars. Okay, the last part is the validation part. We can kick off the, we can enable the validation and uh, the app will show four images of the validation set together with their uh, top five predictions. Okay, uh, let me go ahead to select the data set as you can see, we can uh, we are going to select uh, MNIST here today, and uh, for the network structure, let me choose the name, and then we can load data. Okay, we can select the number of epochs. Let me go ahead to use fifty, and uh, for the number of state steps. We can choose 100. It's a small network, so you can expect that the training speed is very fast. Okay, and before we kick off the training process, let me enable the validation. Okay, it's enabled. Get started. Okay, as you can see during the training, the learning curve is uh, plotted on this uh, graph dynamically. 
and uh, the progress bar is growing from left to right. There are four images of the validation set a plot on the button together with their top five prediction and the correct label uh, the correct label are marked in red as you can see when the uh, validation accuracy grows uh, more and the more top one prediction becomes red and also during the training you can put uh, markers put the cursors to show you the exact number of the accuracy of the validation accuracy and training accuracy here you can plot it anywhere okay that's uh, pretty much i want to talk today thank you